Joe Longhurst, so you are here. We thought you must be ill. Why? I'm only five minutes late. Ten. Sorry. I ought to tell sister, you know. I know. She won't like it. It's the second time this week. Look, I'm ready now, Shirley, so if you don't mind. We're behind with lunch. The consultant's been round, so we had to wait. You'd better go and give Molly a hand. Right. This is yours. I'll put it up here for you, okay? Well, it's today, but I'll borrow it. It's Mr. Hobson's ready now. Yes, love, it is. This is it. Hello, honey. Hello, honey. How are you today? Sister. Yes, nurse bread. What is it? I found this in Nigel Clark's locker. It's got crumbs on it, sister. Chocolate cake. Let me see. Yes. And have you talked to the boy? No, he's in the day room watching television. I suppose he's eaten it. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. We'll just have to report it to the doctor in the morning. I'll speak to the night staff and warn them in case there are any ill effects. Thank you, nurse. Mr. Maythorpe's leaving this afternoon. Everything's fine there, and his wife will be in later with his things. Mr. Wills is up for his operation, or he could be down shortly. You, you'll be in charge of that, nurse Brent, will you? Yes, sister. Mr. Riley's still not eating, but the doctor saw him this morning, and he's not worried as yet. Mr. Thomas is in a great deal of pain. The doctor's prescribed something for him. Mr. Clark? Ah, yes. Young Nigel. Well, he's on a special diet, as you all know, while we carry out these tests. It's very important that, uh, for the purpose of his diagnosis, that he should have no flour intake whatsoever. Now, somebody doesn't seem to understand this, because yesterday some crumbs from a cake were found in his locker. Now, oh, probably the culprit is his mother. It's very difficult for the parents to understand that they must deprive their children of something they like. <laughs> Particularly when they think it's not going to do them any harm. I'll have a word with her this afternoon. In the meantime, I'd like you all to keep your eyes open, and if you do see something, report it to me at once. Now, I don't suppose any of you saw his mother give him anything yesterday? I saw you with him just after his mother left, nurse. Did you notice anything? Nurse? It was in his locker. Well, he said she'd brought it to cheer him up. I see. Well, may I ask why you didn't report this? He was very unhappy. Well, I think we'll leave it there for today. There's plenty to do. I'll try and fit in a teaching session this afternoon. Oh, Nurse Allen. Uh, Mr. Uh, Maythorpe was asking for the telephone. Would you take it to him? Yes. And somebody please do something about the linen cupboard. It's a disgrace. Nurse Longhurst. You're due for an appraisal, aren't you? Yes, sister. Well, let's try and fit it in tomorrow, shall we? There won't be time today. I'll let you know. Thank you, sister. She put her foot in it this time. Ooh. Joe, mocked up all the tests for yesterday. He'll have to stay an extra day now. Bet he won't thank her for that. Why did you have to drop her in it? It was her own fault. She should have done what she was told. Haven't you ever made a mistake, honey? 